A stormy night. Who would dare to go out in such weather? Who would dare brave themselves in this death that is raining down upon us? Not me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Who would be stupid enough to go out at this time? Look at it raining. See that on the ground there? It was raining a lot harder than now, but uh, still raining pretty dang hard. Let's look up at the light post there. Woo-wee. <laughs> and it's starting to come in the window. Hold on a sec. Okay. And, uh, yeah, did not want the camera. Whoa! The camera to get wet. And, uh, yeah! Since I'm not going out, what better thing to do? Hold on a sec, let's zoom out. Then, to start another walkthrough. Woohoo! Yeah, uh, I'm starting this pretty early since Super Mario World hasn't even gotten up yet. Only 11 parts out of 26 have gotten up so far in, in S <coughs> SMW. So, uh, yeah, I will be starting this really early. So let's start the game. It was a great day for fishing in Spoonerville, so Goofiness and his pals, oh yeah, this is Goof Troop, one of the few good Disney games out there, headed out to the ocean with their boats. I've only known of three good goof, uh, good Disney games, cruising for the big ones that open water, Pete and PJ were suddenly caught in the ominous shadow of a giant ship. Yeah, this one, The Great Circus Mystery, and uh, I believe it's DuckTales for the NES, I don't have that one though, too bad. When Goofy and Max looked up, they saw a huge pirate ship heading. Out to Spoonerville Island, Pete and PJ are on the board. On board, victims of a pirate kidnapping. <laughs> Goofy rode for all he was worth, but he couldn't catch up to the pirate ship before it landed on the island. Determined to rescue their friends, Goofy must set Goofy and Max set out to explore the island and find the pirate stronghold. Alright, you got uh, your choice of characters since I'm one playing one player. We've got this line only right here. If you choose Goofy, you'll have more power and be able to kill enemies in one hit. If you choose Max, you'll have more speed, but uh, certain enemies are tougher and you won't be able to kill them in one hit. So, uh, if I were you, when you're doing your first run on this game, choose Goofy. Yeah. <laughs> So let's start out at the first level, which I don't know the name of. <laughs> Alright, let's go over the controls as I usually do. Control pad to move, <laughs> Y button to pick up thing. Oh, no, wait, okay, I guess it's B button to pick up things. Um, uh, L and R button to switch between items, that is way up here. Uh, but we aren't going to cover that just yet. And because we are going to get some items, these increase your health, when you collect uh, six of them you get an extra life. And let's pick up this, we have a gun. Okay, press the Y button to use your items. That is awesome! This is more of like a grappling hook, not, not really a gun, but it can be used to stun enemies. Let's see what this guy says. Don't look now, man! Kihal Pete, the Dreaded Pete King, has returned. Okay, that was kind of sucky, but what the heck. <laughs> Okay, here's your standard puzzly screen of this game. Like, uh, yeah, you can pick up things and throw th whoops, throw things at enemies. That's a ah, that's how you kill things in this game. That's the only way to kill kill things, I should say, in the most part. The other way is to uh, kick blocks at them like this. Yeah, it works well. And if you in case you didn't notice, you can also use your grappling hook to grab things. Like I grabbed that thing across the, the river there, like I just did that. So you can throw it at other things. So yeah, grappling hook, very handy. You will like it. So let's uh, go here since I freed that area with a barrel. Whoa, the, uh, the this TV screen just flickered there when the... Uh, um, when the lightning flash, that was weird. I hope the power doesn't go out. Okay, cherries increase your heart by one, hearts by one, and bananas increase it by three. Red gems give you an extra life, and blue gems give you an extra continue. Obviously, blue gems are the best gem of all. So, yeah. Okay, what's this guy say? Another, uh, you know, Spoonerville used to be a safe place before Keyhole Pete got out of that way. <laughs> Alright, oh, we got some jumping fish in the water, they are completely harmless, and we got our little puzzle room again. This game is mostly about the puzzles. Let's just grab this for the heck of it. If you switch to the belt, see now I can switch between items, see at the upper left corner with the L and R buttons? 
and uh, then you can press the Y button to use the item that is selected. And uh, the bell, in particular, can attract pirate enemies to you. Like, I'll just show you. See, like, they all get all excited to see you now. <laughs> and kill, die. <laughs> uh, I don't remember exactly where to go, but um, anyway, let's just see where we have to go then. Let's start up here for the heck of it. I know each of these open individual doors. Let's start with the top door. Uh, no, this is a dead end, but I can show you how this how the shovel works. Here, I'll, I'll pick the shovel up, and I'll just clear my pathway up to that dirt, up, dirt out in the garden. And... Oh, by the way, that bee is very hard to hit. Okay, to dig holes, you gotta stand sideways. Yes, sideways. It's pretty dang awkward, because you can't, like, do this. Can you hear me pressing the button? Yeah, you cannot do that. You have to stand sideways for some god knows reason and dig holes this way. So, uh, yeah, you can find treasures and all sorts of stuff down here, mostly like fruit and gems. Gems are pretty rare though, but that's why they're gems, you know, they're, they're good stuff. I think this guy explains it. You can use the shovel over there. Maybe you'll find some hidden pirate treasure. Okay. <laughs> And let's see what is over here. This way. No, I'm not supposed to go here yet. I need a key to go there. Okay. Yeah, I haven't played this game in a while. I did a co-op uh, gameplay with my mom, actually. Oh, I need to go here, that's for sure. Okay, get rid of your shovel. Take that plank. That plank is used for uh, this opening right here. Yeah, that's how you cross that gap over there. You're going to need to go over there, trust me. Yes, you do. You cannot deny it. You need that board. Wood is a great ah. Oh, wood is a great thing, in uh, many different senses. <laughs> so uh, let's go this way this time. Okay, gotta kill all the pirates in this room to uh, whoops unlock the door. And I kind of messed that one up, but whatever. Uh, I think I can just ow oh, ow. Oh. If you take a hit when you have a heart, don't worry about it. You'll still live. But if you have no hearts, you'll lose a life. So uh, make sure you. Have a heart at most times. Calculate uh, how much the cherries and bananas will be worth. Use your plank here, and there you go! And here's a frog, you can kill him with the gun, very nice. Unlike the pirates that you can only knock in the water. Wait, I should have talked to this guy, shouldn't I? <laughs> I'm used to playing alone. You need, you gotta, you gotta need a bridge to make it across here. Okay, <laughs> that was uh, pointless, completely pointless. Alright, I got a gun so I can get the treasures off to this side. Yeah, the best way to get him, I would say, is uh, up here. You do not need to kill all the pirates in this room. I got another continue. How great is that? I believe a key room is in here. Yes. This is a block puzzle. You got to uh, push these in the correct order to uh, obviously cover these star spaces. Don't worry, it's not that hard. Just take your time. Just watch how the blocks move. When you kick them, they move in a straight line and don't stop until they hit something. And uh, yeah, that's the end of that puzzle. Let's grab the key and let's...